welcome to the Council of Peoples, the show on the La Runa Runa channel that, cha- that talks about a different kind of game, the, real- the reality TV game show and social experiment that has run for over two decades, Survivor. I'm Chief Bisdaf, Joel Parkon, and with me as always is Jack Potato, Jao Atienza. What's up, Jao? How are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, I, I think I have a, a healthy bowel movements. Okay. Um, just putting that out there. Uh-huh. You know, that seems Scatology. to be a, a theme. Uh-huh. Yeah. Scatology <laughs> makes a return. Yep. Uh, uh-huh. Also with us is the man with the thoughts. Martin, how are you doing? Feeling fine, just like Liz and just like what Zhao said. Uh, I had a healthy bowel movement today. You know? <laughs> Guys, at least have <laughs> one or two to be healthy. <laughs> All right. It's the season, I guess. You know, we're not talking about it. It just comes out there. This it just comes just out. It just mm, comes out. Just, comes out. <laughs> just okay. like Liz. Thank God I mean, it finally came out. Yeah, apparently not for Liz, but okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, for In a long time. episode, she finally did. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah, that's why we're talking about it. Yeah. It gonna uh, anyway, we're going to talk about that and more things as we talk about the episode 12 or the penultimate episode of Survivor Season 46 entitled Mama Bear. But before we begin, of course, do consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you get updated whenever we come up with new episodes on this channel. And for those of you who don't want to have to look at our mugs whenever we talk Survivor, you can always go wherever you do and get your podcasts and search for Council of Peoples. So, without further ado, let's begin. All right, guys, what is, uh, since we're doing this new format, so, what stuck out to you aside from aside from the scatology? <laughs> I mean, if I'm being honest, that's really all that stood out. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Lord, we're not even talking about it. They're, they'll force us to talk about it. <laughs> but you know, I, in I fairness, didn't want to... that was—I mean, aside from the fact that Liz has been saying she hasn't been having bowel movements, this was the first episode that 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 something like that. So. Oh, is, did someone talk about Aquadam in this season? Not that I, I don't think so. Specifically, no. no. Not really. That's why no. this is kind of. No. It's one of those ben things. Or... Yeah. It's no. Really it, sounds, it does sound like something he would talk about, though, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Just, you know, putting that out there. Um, <laughs> but it's like the uh, Doctor Who, the, the most recent Doctor Who. No, not the most recent. The one from like last week or last last whenever this one is whenever this is coming out um mm. there was a, a a big fart joke right at the very end of the space babies episode Whoa, and okay. um you know and then, and then i watch this and and i see um i, I guess uh poop <laughs> reference i'm like oh man i'm just really glad that there wasn't very much like poop stuff in X Men ninety seven. Just just putting that out there as well. <laughs> uh, actually, thank God. I, I I don't think Kevin Feige would would put too much uh poop references in any of the uh, MCU or Marvel uh, uh Marvel shows. So yeah, so the poop. That's it. That's that's all you. Get. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's it for this show. Now. Uh, all right. You guys <laughs> <laughs> Castaway of the week. Poop. Uh, <laughs> uh, purple of the week. Any more poop left in the list? Uh, anyway, uh, well, for me, no, I'm gonna go... seriously though. Yeah, seriously. If yeah. If we're, if we're being serious though, is this the episode that Maria loses the season? Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. That, that that's a discussion. That's a discussion. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think, Marts? We gotta get to that later because I. Unless you guys want to talk about what Zhao made, the list of the possible enumerations to the final tree, like during our GC. No, I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Well, since we want to spoil it right now, I think not really. I think if you get the final tree to the right names, maybe you'll get Maria as the winner. Oh yeah, Maria. Oh yeah, is your anything, winner pick. anything is possible right now, Mars. I mean, there's still what six people. Five people uh, left. Why did you ask me immediately? 
No, I mean, like, I'm asking what your what your opinion <laughs> is. That's the whole point. Uh, this is a that discussion. Was my opinion. <laughs> well, aye, I mean, aye, aye. Opinion, right? now, now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> Maria is after all Martin's canonical winner yeah. pick. So it would yeah, be so just like say, say no. He would say that it, Maria's no, going to win. Yeah, it's not a... <laughs> so yeah. so why why but am we I don't wrong know it thinking? we don't know it because it's still part of a discussion. So Martz, why am I wrong in thinking that this is the episode yeah. where Maria loses Survivor? I don't know. Then I'll tell you why Kenzie is gonna win. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why Liz is gonna win. <laughs> is it because she did a? Po- oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if you know if she gets like a Ben or a Liz there, there's a big chance. You know, that's my opinion. Again, we're going back to that term. My opinion. What, respectfully, opinion? respectfully. But the opinion and I doesn't have anything the- supporting it. What is the supporting argument of your opinion? You didn't say that earlier, but you were asking for my opinion. That's I mean, when you're when you're having a discussion, you have to give you so your opinion. Your opinion has to have some support, right? Right. So so here, let's let's put it this way. Let's assume that Maria mm-hmm. doesn't win the immunity next episode. Like the she's out. Let, let's let, let's assume that she doesn't win the final immunity challenge. What Joel says that? she's out. <laughs> Martin, there you go. Who's, she, who's she's out because for? she was. She was. Why? Well, what's my support of that? She wasn't part of the vote for this episode. Her alliance with Charlie is already gone because she voted for Charlie. Right? Even though when they had the conversation, she said that she was voting for Q, but she voted for Charlie. That this that destroys that alliance already. Charlie won't work with her with her, so she's out. So, so you can't think she can be thought of as a goat. Nope. Really? Because if she, if she gets to the final, really? she wins. Oh, okay. <laughs> if she gets to the final, she wins. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna. I, I really do think that her path her path to the end is winning immunity, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, making twice. Fire. To yeah, to, does she need to make fire to unless, re- unless what, she to rebuild her reputation? Whether or not she wins the the, the, the final four immunity, I, I, fine. Either two immunities in a row, or immunity or the then is put into fire um, by somebody. Because you know, right now, um, I think that uh, right now I think that Ben is the one that people are going to want to take to the end. Ooh. Yeah, he's got the least game. Yeah. Yeah, he's just been the vibe guy. Yeah, or at least that's what. But then again, I mean, we didn't see, we didn't necessarily see Gabler's game until that last episode, right? Yeah, right. You know, I should have. You know what I should have done? I should have checked the the merge episode Mm. again because, like, the merge episode. Yeah, the merge episode this season, because in the new era, did that start? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, because in the new era, whoever gets the focus on the merge episode historically it's, has oh, been has the focus like, on, has to win. Yeah, like there was a right. It, it was it was during the merge that stupid hourglass thing that, mm. uh, that the, the single greatest winner in Survivor <laughs> history. Um, you know, right? She that, that's when she started um, coming out, uh, becoming more of a character. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember Marianne. Is it um, episode several where we're gonna start the the merge episode? Or is not it... sure. Um, during the merge episode of Gabler's season, that was his Ellie blindside. Mm. Um, during the merge episode of Jam Jam season, that was when he took out um, the the doctor that said he was a personal trainer. What was his name? Oh god, I forgot that guy. Wait, because if we're to take the merge, is it the Tim vote out or the Soda vote out? Well, that, that was, was after what episode several, where they already merged as the uh, red team, I think. The 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 sort of mergeatory kind of episode. The mergeatory, not the merge, no, not after the merge. The mergeatory episode. Yeah, when when they all end up on the same beach. Yeah. Is it the Mariah vote out? 
I, I don't remember. Like I said, I I should oh, have gone right. back. Oh. <laughs> I should have gone back and like made a made, made a final prediction based on like the edit, okay. but I didn't. Well, we'll see. No, I I do I do think that if she gets to the final three, uh, Marie is gonna win. So, uh, and the other four right now are hard against her. Although Charlie has said that he's always been about her uh, uh, options, right? But right yeah. now, his relationship with Maria is shattered because yeah. she voted for him. So yeah. I'm not sure how much, will, how willing he will be to work with her. Uh, and and he did do the due diligence by not keeping Maria out of the vote. He told her about it. He told her about Q, right? Yeah. And that was exactly what he was telling Ben about. Right? Uh, if we leave her out of this vote, she's not going to want to work with us. Where does that leave us after the vote? Right? So basically, he covered his bases. And he still got his way. Right? So I don't know if Maria will be able to bring in the other two moms. Well, mom-to-be now in, in, in Kenzie. Uh, yeah, but, but I think that the four, which... Uh, Charlie also called his the squad. They're now the squad. And this, this this was the first episode that they was like, "Why are you doing that, Ben? We're we're a squad, right?" And, or the four jesters, according to Kenzie, right? Uh, uh, taking down the king. Uh, yeah, but I I think that that's a more solid proof than uh what Maria and Charlie is in game because I do think that after the game. Uh, Charlie, he's Uncle Charlie to her kids now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, just going back, one there is one thing that stood out to me, uh, and it's a, it's not so much more in game, but the fact that this episode came out the week, the, the Thursday uh, or Thursday here in the Philippines, uh, after Mother's Day, Mother's Day and yeah. then this episode was entitled Mama Bear, uh, and we get a lot of Maria as that Mama Bear. Right? And then they get the letters from home, the love from home. Even Jeff's plug was mom centric, right? Yeah. That yeah. uh, your mom, your mom tells you that she wants it. She 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 can do it. Convince her to go. And then yeah, and then even during that week, I mean, we we said it during uh, the our last episode, but yeah, Kenzie came out with a announcement on Twitter that that she has an uh, she has a baby on the way. Right, so it, it's 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 it tied in so well the the this episode the title that they came up for with this episode the, the story that they were telling them in this episode right uh, the only thing that that didn't go quite well was the fact that the mama didn't didn't get her total revenge right yeah God. And and uh, Liz finally got to eat. Apparently, uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, she isn't allergic to Chinese takeout. Yeah, she's allergic to a lot of stuff, but not Chinese takeout. Not Chinese takeout. <laughs> yeah, very odd. <laughs> very... Yeah, in um, in preparation for tonight's recording, I I got some Chow King. So <laughs> <laughs> we are such an impressionable <laughs> council. <laughs> Whatever we see in Survivor, we get. I also got I I actually also got Chinese food. <laughs> so yeah, we are such an impressionable council. Uh, I, mean, I wasn't I actually wasn't thinking though. Like the 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 day that the episode came out, he, mm -hmm. uh, Martin was like steam rice, steam up. Uh, no, that was me. That was me with steam rice. Oh, yeah, that was you, right? And, yeah. and then Martin was like, "Okay, I want to get steam rice as well." And I was like, "Huh? Maybe you, you're uh, the only one who could get steam rice." Yeah, they, all right. There's a there's like a drive through. There's like a drive through nearby. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get steamed rice. Then. Yeah, man. <sighs> uh, but yeah, they also went back to sanctuary two two, two times uh, in a row, right? Oh well, the, the, after the pizza episode. So yeah. I guess they were really just holding out the sanctuary just so that Applebee's could be the first. Uh, the first time that the sanctuary came out of the season. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I gotta ask: with Applebee's and with a, with a uh, Chinese themed sanctuary, complete with a sanctuary logo on the Chinese mm -hmm. food, did good things finally happen for you guys? 
No, not it's for me. It's just food for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just okay. food. I, I, <laughs> the the whole thing about you know getting all of this this feast, whatever, whether they're like, like like whenever the merge feast happens or or something like that, the big a big something happens and uh, for as a as a reward, you're always looking for. Is there a clue to a to a to an idol or to an advantage or something like that? But nothing has ever happened uh, in a while in in the sanctuary. Like, That's what, true. That's uh, true. Because aside from food, and I think letters from home, right? Yeah. Yeah. Would it have been better? Would a good thing have happened if they actually had their loved ones drop by in that sanctuary for you guys? Or still not good enough to make it good things to happen? Like, what is our definition of good things happening in said sanctuary? Because, like, past seasons, this is the most disappointing place because it's just <laughs> what good things happened it's just the bare minimum food mm -hmm. and the pizza also sucks mm -hmm. That's I, I, I'm, I'm actually thing. wondering because they got chinese food it does the chinese food taste better than the pizza right it does the survivors the, the survivor chinese food taste better than survivor pizza and right? uh you gotta wonder an apple be sponsorship instead of like just the soggy pizza or the the usual food is this a better sanctuary now? At least compared to the previous. Well, it's better, but it's not. It's not like I mean, it's not like wow. I have to go to the sanctuary. Okay. It's just. It's just the. It, by the looks of it, it's just a hut. It's basically a a fast food place, right? Where you can sit down and then you have your food. I don't know where they would because for the Applebee's, I think that they they stayed overnight. Did they so they stayed overnight, right? I felt it was. Yeah, it was. Overnight. Yeah. Yeah, you know so what? You know what? There's a there's a simple solution to this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't need to obtain a tourist visa to go to Fiji. That's <laughs> true. It's visa free, right? So, like one of these days, we can you just like, save up. You know, we can uh -huh. go to Fiji, <laughs> and we'll try their pizza. We'll try their Chinese food, and Which we will report better. back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like we will have a special on like Fijian pizza and Fijian Chinese takeout. I really remember that there was that infographic that came out. It was like, all right, these are the places in 2024 that like holders of a Philippine passport can go to without a visa or can like obtain a visa on arrival. And I saw that like a bunch of the uh, places were like survivor filming locations. Yeah. So like, right? someone from the Philippines can actually technically make a business out of it right uh go to the survivor locations that's true as a yeah. travel as a travel agency that's an idea someone out there Man, might... nice. right so so the folks in the uh <laughs> pinoy <laughs> uh survivor <laughs> yeah whoever like one of you uh, is connected to a travel agency you <laughs> now have something to that, that you can work on yeah travel agency guys not not something else <laughs> Like, uh, I wonder if anybody in the Pinoy Survivor fans like Facebook group is <laughs> like a travel agency. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Comment down below if you're in the official Pinoy Survivor fan yeah. group and exactly. have or are, are connected with the travel agency, right? Yeah, uh, so anything <laughs> else that stood out to you guys? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's 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 a legitimate idea. Uh, that's a legitimate, I like, I like that. Yeah, love that. Uh, so anyway, anything <laughs> else stand out to you guys? Um, Charlie's game is amazing. Just saying, mm. he's actually coming on his own. Yeah, like, like the past couple of episodes have really been uh, a masterclass in survivor gameplay. Uh, care of care of Charlie, like in the sort of uh, standoff between Charlie and Maria. Charlie didn't have to like show his hand to Maria, whereas Maria showed her hand to Charlie. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Charlie didn't. Um, Charlie didn't make it known that he was gunning for Maria. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, it looked like he was gunning for Q. Exactly. Whereas, like Maria, very clearly drew a line in the sand and said, "Like, all right, I'm taking out Charlie today." And so, uh, and so, 
let's see. D does that mean that Maria turns on Charlie or Charlie turns on Maria? I think they both <laughs> turned on each other. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we're for the predictions portion of our show. Shall we both get a point there? Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, just to just to uh, just to un just to uh, emphasize your your point, uh, Jao. I I also like the fact, and I saw this. I think if I didn't fall asleep, I uh, I saw it on one of the YouTube on the YouTube uh, videos. The that that confessional, that overlapping confessional of Charlie and Maria uh, when they talk after the reward. And that was yeah. so good. That was so good for for survival production to do, where where they were talking about. I don't think that Maria is gonna betray me. And then you got Maria saying, "I don't think that Charlie is gonna betray me." And then you have that conversation they have on the boat, uh, solidifying their friendship after the game, right? And that was such a good back and forth on the overlap of the confessionals with the with the actual scene. Such a great way of hyping up the fact that these two, these are two. Uh, really good survivor players who are coming to a head. Right, their 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 relationship is gonna change in game. It's gonna change. Right, and that that for me that that was that was that was really good. As when I did my second watch, uh, after hearing that from one of the YouTube videos, I I really paid attention to it. it even at one point five speed, at two speed, it was still it still come out it came out really good. Yeah, that's one of those things that shows. Something that only, well, film and maybe comics, but then like comics are pretty much storyboards, which mm. eventually become film. But like as an art form, film has the power of juxtaposition. And mm. that's like a master class in that. So Survivor Production, two thumbs up. Yep. Uh, yep. Editor editor guy, uh, I, I know you from, well, I, I know you as the drummer of that band size 14 but i think wow. <laughs> but i think um you're a much better editor than you are a drummer <laughs> and you're a pretty good drummer but then again if you think about it the drummer keeps the rhythm of the band so he was able to keep the rhythm of the episode the rhythm of the shows it's the still show i don't know i'm just trying to i'm reaching for a connection <laughs> yes <laughs> this is our uh, this is this is our like theater background coming in, right? We're just yes yeah. ending everything. Yes and yeah. <laughs> yes and yes and yes. Yeah. Uh, any other things that stood out to you, uh, Martz? Well, do you think they just got tired of being talked about this? The Malcolm and Denise, and one of them just wants to Denise the other guy. In other words, like the other guy's Malcolm. They just want to take out. The other one first, like Maria want to take out Charlie, Charlie want to take out Maria. I'm going to defer to Charlie here. And okay. uh, Charlie says, hopefully Malcolm wins this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. because yeah, he, that that. Right? Wow. he still thinks he's Malcolm. He still thinks that Maria is uh, Denise, but he just wants Malcolm to get the win here. Yeah. History wise, like Malcolm always gets, you know, if it's not Denise, it's a Cochrane for Malcolm. And like the the in, in the last uh, in the last season, there was the the Boston Rob and Amber like flashback connection mm. thing. Oh, for and yeah. history, uh, um, right? And history repeated itself yeah, in that Boston? the girl won. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna mm -hmm. win again. <laughs> That's why. So, uh, it's a bit scary. <laughs> if you're a if you're a Charlie fan, <laughs> and if you know Malcolm Survivor history, not just for you know Philippines, it's not good, man. <laughs> you can have the three brochatos or the three bros. It it's still not good, man. Just got it's great right for now. it's great for you though, right? Like as uh, as a Maria, what's... yeah. I mean, I guess it means you know, Ben's gonna have that dog bar like uh, the other guy from uh, Caramoan, who is also <laughs> the alliance of Malcolm in that season. <laughs> mm. hey, speaking of dogs, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, undercutting, yeah. undercutting Charlie. <laughs> that was that was so 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 weird. I mean, well, I, I get the whole Q and Ben were brothers that the yeah. pick on her, Kenzie, yeah. And then Maria, the aunt who cooks everything. I don't know why she said that. 
Uh, Liz, this one, Liz as the cynical grandma who's losing it but oh is loved God. by everyone. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> the first two gets... are pretty okay, and then Liz as the cynical grandma, <laughs> and then Charlie oh, as the dependable dog that they all love. I was like, what? It, it gets worse. Right? <laughs> what, what's it? <laughs> but you see, I... the thing is, the thing is, it wasn't what she said, but how she said it, yeah. and the way people reacted to it. Like if she's on the jury, she's going to no. If, if she's if she's pitching to the jury in final three, she's going to she's going to be amazing. Mm. And imagine all of them are there. Yeah, because I mean that was one dog. of the no, but that was one of the that was one of the secrets I think somewhere uh, where you have to use humor. You have to get your jury laughing for them to sympathize with you. So that when you come up with your reason for why you should win. They sympathize with you more, and you the know. way that Kenzie was was doing this, uh, meaning likening, <laughs> likening their final six to a dysfunctional family, yeah, that was pretty good. Right, like again, it it isn't what she said, but how she mm-hmm. said it. She wasn't like, and Charlie is a freaking dog, right? Just like mm-hmm. hey, Charlie, cute dog, ha <laughs> ha, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as uh. Somebody that has to fail students oh. and has had to fail students. <laughs> um, there is a lot to be said in how things are said, yeah. and you know, right? Because, um, like my wife is actually really good at this. Like she, you know, is she? She's a, she's a type of teacher that um, students eventually thank her for failing them. Wow! Okay. Right. I I don't know I don't know how the hell she does it, but you know, yeah, she'd probably do really well in Survivor. Just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's the one. If you take her to the final, she's gonna win, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, you know, what what's his name? Um, Rob Rob Sestrinino Just has cool. this really cool like taxonomy of Survivor players. Um, where like he separates them into like the people that have no shot, the people that sort of need a move, and like the people that just the mere fact of making it to the end is the only move that they need. Like Jam Jam, for example, is that type of person that mm. doesn't need to have a move mm-hmm. to like show at final tribal i don't think anybody in that season could have done anything and jam jam would have still won and you know you you have other people that um say you might need them to they might need to make a move like win fire or whatever to sort of prove themselves to the jury and um i think that maria hmm. if she makes it to the jury the way she's or if she makes it to um the final three the way the jury perceives her like she doesn't really need to do anything to win the season unless unless the jury is like bitter but then bitter, yeah. i don't i don't think they would be bitter at her so yeah she's like mm. she's like that she, she's like that threat that needs um that, that doesn't need a move they just need to take her out yeah so you know she I think that um, she really does need. If anybody else um, is is gonna have a shot, she really does need to go in. You know, final um, in the next two rounds. Basically, next two, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because she, I think that she's also really good at fire. It's gonna be hard to take her out of fire. Yeah, but then again, whoever will take her out at fire will have such a huge advantage. The votes right? will go on that. See how Liz takes out Maria at fire and wins it in the end, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know what really, you know what I would really All love it took to see was just a dump like this episode, like everything <laughs> got expelled. Yes, I am. All the bad juju, like, the bad juju. It's a renewed. Gone, like... It's a renewed Liz. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know the totally the uh, if if I were a, a producer, or storyteller, or whatever. Um, I would make the Maria 
and Charlie thing as much of a thing in the entire season if they do something cool like go head to head at Final Tribal or go head to head in Fire. Fire. I feel like it might be Fire, yeah. Right? Like I'm that, that's going to be that's going to be amazing. That's going to yeah. be like Tony and um that's going to be like cops are Sarah. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. the cops are of standoff. I I think Right? That's yeah. Whoever wins that one is going to win the season. Mm-hmm. If that's the setup for the fire, yeah. So if like if there's a if 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 we are doing our um, survivor fanfic, that's something that I would like include in um, you know next week's episode. The mm-hmm. uh, wait, no, this releases that's uh, but it what I would include in episode? tomorrow's episode. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Or if you're in the U.S., the episode tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other things that stood out to you guys? Kenzie, of course. <laughs> of course, Kenzie. What about Kenzie? Yes. Uh, what about? What about? I, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on saying this, right? Banu wanted to win a million hearts, but here's Kenzie. <laughs> still, still winning those damned hearts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's a dragon or, or a mermaid. <laughs> She's a, a she's mermaid, mermaid dragon. dragon. Mermaid she's dragon. a mermaid dragon. <laughs> like, like even even when Ben has like the ultimate brain fart, which mm. I, I, admittedly one might be kind of um not 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 so uh one, one would be kind of skeptical about right like how do you you know how do you um accidentally do that <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's like it's like um. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna mention the um, the vote? metaphor, the simile that oh. I have. I'm not, I'm not gonna mention okay. that because it's uh, it's part of the uh, NSFW part of Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> it? Anyway, yeah. So like, yeah. Even even after like that, mm. you know, she's still she's still there while he's like having his. Like emotional it. like mental breakdown yeah. right so like come on man kenzie is like the ultimate like good guy kenzie you know? <laughs> yeah and she has she even makes a joke about it during tribal right mm-hmm. yeah In the 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 fact that the that ben wrote her name down while taking yeah. a bit of a dig at Venus. <laughs> uh, oh man, now now Kenzie is not going to have that perfect game. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Not none of them, right? None of the remaining ones have a perfect game anymore. They have a focus Um I don't think so. Yeah, let me let me just look uh, at at the survivor wiki. Yeah. Oh, here's a question that I'd like to post to you. Did this episode was the episode where they received letters from home? Who would your letters from home come from? Ah, um, and apart from apart from my wife, mm-hmm. pro- probably uh probably my podcast partners in House <laughs> 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 of Titos. <laughs> well, that's assuming we're not we're not playing the game together, all three of us. Oh, okay. How would they? Why would they do that though? Anyway. <laughs> I mean, you know, we could have like brains, brawn, beauty. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally taking beauty. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Marts? Uh, most likely, like if my grandma could still write, it would have been her. Because in my family, she's like the only one who's who'd actually literally write a letter. And literally, like, just send it, you know, like, send it to, hey, here's a bunch of letters, almost Christmas, bring it to the, you know, to the post office. And that's all Mm. handwritten. Oh, wow. You'd see her do that the whole freaking That's so nice. But that's like a few years back. Oh, let me, let me rephrase the question. Who, what, whose letters from home? Would get you to tear up as much as the three that uh, that received the letters from home in this episode. Well, yeah, yeah. Obviously, my grandmother. Your grandmother. That means she could write again. Yeah. Mm. 
that's cute. Yeah. That's nice. That's like very big. <laughs> that's nice. It's like a big box. Uh, okay, you, my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah <of> course. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna say anything. Yeah, you, you, yeah. That's that's the that's the obvious question. No, sorry, the obvious answer and the correct the correct answer. Well, maybe the not so obvious answer is is, is the dog. Yeah, the dog. <laughs> the dog knows how to write. It's just a paw print. It's a paw print. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! I I saw from I saw from like where was it? Again, I I saw it online. People were asking if the letter that that Liz received was a rehash from the letter that that Carolyn received. It's because it had the same sort of drawing from the kid. Oh dear God! Oh dear God! <laughs> and people were like, "Survivor is uh, has such a low budget nowadays. They re they're re reusing <laughs> letters from home." <laughs> That's a sweet. Uh, or maybe nice, maybe uh, the kids went to the same not. school, yeah, right? Same school. Like, they, That's yeah. true. That's or true. Same art style and <laughs> same age range, you know. <laughs> oh, um, about the votes against if Survivor Wiki is correct, Liz and Maria don't have any votes against them. As oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I was I was just gonna apparently. say. Okay, but it's All Survivor right. Wiki. <laughs> so yeah, so disclaimer, guys. We're checking Survivor Wiki. <laughs> well, well, I think that's what it's pretty what? good. It's a pretty good it's resource. Really good resource. Yeah, it's a pretty good resource. Right? What's okay, good, good, good. Uh, with um, what's what's his uh when when Rob Cesarino had uh uh Jake on mm -hmm. uh, oh the recent Jake yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. forty five yeah the Woo! I mean sorry the thing that he said was. Like I have Survivor Wiki open and I'm ready to go, so oh, you know. Okay. Right, that's apparently, cool. apparently we're in good company because, like, apart from pulling up my notes, I also pull out Survivor Wiki. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah. <laughs> nice, Loyal. nice, nice. Uh, All right. So Boston. any, uh, yeah, Boston. Any anyway, child uh, let's the fuck go did ahead. You the car park. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's move on to the next portion of our uh, our show, which is our predictions. Let's start off with the points that we get from last week. All right. Zhao? I said that Ben talking about Maria. I think we all get a point for like talking about Maria. Right? Talking like, about Maria, yeah. Because it was actually yeah. just Maria talking about herself. But, <laughs> God dang. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, Ben talking about Maria. I said that Charlie was going to win immunity. Wrong. Um, Charlie <laughs> turns on Maria, throws the vote her way. Uh, can I get half a point for that? <laughs> <laughs> because that was the intention. Well, yeah, but you, you did get the Charlie goes and starts to go against Maria. Yeah. Okay, so I'll get a point for that. Yeah. Um, ben and Kenzie stick together. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. Bob, the the context of that was, um, Ben mistakenly like putting Rose, Kenzie's yeah, name Rose down, Kenzie's right? Name. And you know, despite that, she's like, "Yeah, cool, we're gonna vote together, moron," mm -hmm. something like that, which is kind of what happened. Um, let's see. Oops, sorry. Emery is with Charlie Ben Kenzie together. Um, ben and Kenzie become the deciding votes. No, they didn't. No, and Q finally gets voted out. <laughs> yep. That was the prediction that I kept on going for over and over again. And it was only a matter of time before it hit. <laughs> <laughs> finally hit. Or it, could, it, would, it would have been an amazing run, right? Like if um, every week I predict something and then like it just i predict somebody getting voted out and it just so happens that they end up winning the season like that would be <laughs> that would be the most amazing run um mm -hmm. but there right martin uh ben talking about maria get a point for that um hey. q wins immunity damn it <laughs> quite the opposite really yeah um there will be a blow up at tribal tribal involving liz and q which didn't happen. Didn't didn't happen. Um, and Ben would be voted out. Oh. Oh. 
for Joel. Um, Charlie talking about Maria, which you already got the point for. Maria turns on Charlie. That's definitely a point. Mm -hmm. Maria gets to the finale and Charlie gets voted out. Um, I'm going to transfer this. Maria gets to the finale for your season long prediction. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Although I'm gonna. Oh wait! By the way, by them. actually by yeah. finale, do we mean like final three or? I think yeah. she get a point for this because she is here for the next. That's season yeah. for the next episode. Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's what you mean. Yeah, I think that was that was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and Charlie gets put it out. Yeah, which which he does. So there we go. Those are uh, the points that we got this week. Okay. I got one, two, three. Martin got one, and Joel gets one, two. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, we need to get a running to a running tally of how much we have for the entire season. Uh. Anyway, yeah. uh, what about for this week? The next again, this I'm getting this off of Survivor Wiki. Uh, because it's not on IMDb for some reason. Whoa. Whose line mm. is it actually? Uh, next episode title is Friends Going to War. Who do you have saying it? And what's it going to be about? Oh, Let's God. start with you, Marx. Gotta be you know, the jury MVP, Pew, talking about Maria and Charlie. So it's like the jury speaks thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's always my go to. Like, if there's an episode for the finale, they're gonna cheat us and they'll use one of the jury, <laughs> certainly one of the jury members. So. Okay, I think it's right. the only thing I could. I mean, it's I doubt it's gonna be like Ben and Charlie, and that's what he's gonna talk about. It could be that, but maybe he knows more about the Maria Charlie thing now. Now that he's in Ponderosa. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. What about you, Joe? Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say Maria talking about Maria and Charlie. Maria talking about Maria and Charlie. Okay. Yeah, ta right. talking about her relationship with Charlie. Yeah, and for me, just so that because I knew that that, that one way or another, uh, the Maria and Charlie thing was gonna get uh, uh, predicted. Mine is Kenzie talking about her circumstance with Charlie and Liz in the finale. Ooh. Ooh, in the final three. So that's actually my final three uh, prediction. Uh, moving on to my other predictions. So this, this, and this is the, the the steps leading to that. Maria, because she is such a threat, has to be voted out in final five, uh, and she will get voted out in final five. And then uh, Charlie wins the final four immunity. Fits Ben and Liz. Uh, in, in for that for that uh, for that for the fire challenge uh because he wants Ben in the finale and knows that Liz can't do fire so he, he puts them together but Which but but okay. huh? right. yeah but 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 Liz by a stroke of good luck wins fire <laughs> Whoa. Whoa because she's already disposed of all the bad juju uh, after she took the dump, right? Uh, she now knows how to make fire, right? That as she goes into Avatar state, I've been watching Avatar, uh, and, <laughs> and because it's been a, it, because it's if we're going to trust Venus, it and it's it is a bitter jury. Liz wins Soul Survive because she's also a winner. I'm stuck with it. <laughs> yeah. Those are all of my other predictions heading into the next episode. All right. So your prediction for final three is Liz, Charlie, Charlie and Kenzie. And Kenzie. Okay. All right. All right. Final three. Um... Martin, what happens? Okay. Um, so we got five people left, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe for some ungodly reason, the first one out would be Kenzie for that five. Ooh. Final four. Ooh. Again, for some ungodly reason, Liz wins. 
Liz is that Angad Bean? Yeah, because Angad, you know, she's already spewed out the yeah the bad juju. So there's no more uh, spiritual thing that's like hindering her from a good mm -hmm. victory. Mm -hmm. yeah, get it? Get it? Uh, Liz picks Charlie and Maria for a duel for the fire. Mm -hmm. Maria wins. It's Ben, Maria, and Liz. The two ladies split the votes, and Maria wins by one vote. Okay. Ooh, Maria <laughs> wins by one vote. <clears throat> so you have Ben as a no vote. Uh, no vote. Zero, uh, a final zero vote finalist. finalist? Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. You, Jack? Um, so what happens is Maria gets taken out at four, mm -hmm. or rather at, uh, Maria, yeah, Maria taken out at five, mm -hmm. uh, Maria taken out at five, um, the final four win, uh, goes to Ben. Ooh. Uh, -huh. but, uh, the final four win goes to Ben and, uh, Ben takes, Kenzie. Okay. So it's Liz and Charlie. Yeah, Liz and Charlie um in fire. Liz wins fire. Oh <laughs> damn, Liz is on the roll here. Yeah. Either for Liz, any prediction, Liz is on the roll. Liz, <laughs> right? Liz uh Liz wins fire. And um Kenzie beats Liz. Mm -hmm. Because of her uh because of her like jury um because of her jury management yep. and um this is paying off banu's foreshadowing about <laughs> kenzie being the one that was like running everything in mm -hmm. um in, in the original yanu camp right banu was right he was like yeah but kenzie <laughs> is the mastermind so so we're paying that off at the yeah. finale wow well, tying because, loose yeah, ends. yeah we have to tie up loose ends here there we go okay cool all right, so uh, are we done with all of the predictions? Let's go ahead to Survivors of the Week. Oh, Kenzie, with... Kenzie wins. Oh. Uh, Kenzie wins. Uh, see money as well. See money. Ken Kenzie wins unanimous. Uh, oh, unanimous. Uh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hold on. All see eight. Money. Who wins the see money now that Joe mentioned it? Oh, uh, see money. Banu's gonna get some. Banu. Banu's gonna get some, <laughs> but. Yeah. Would it be weird for me to wish Jolinsky also gets a part of that? Uh, Just because. I don't know how how well loved he was on uh on on the island, but I don't know. I, I aside from the fact that he provided some laughs, yeah. I don't think he was I able to capture many hearts. Give the money. Yeah. <laughs> Manu will get some. Kenzie probably also will. All yeah. right. So... Ben. Ben. Uh, yeah, maybe. Manu. Manu, Ben. Um, Kenzie. That, that's my three picks for a Sia money thing. Right. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Um, for the see of money, I'm thinking Charlie gets yeah gets that's some. A, that's a good, mm. that's a good Charlie, thing. unless like unless we get um unless we get Taylor Swift money. Oh my God, that's true. Which, Wait, Taylor uh, Swift also a a fan. If she actually was a man, can dream. Yeah, imagine, <laughs> imagine if she did, because there's a Swifty in this in this season, true. right? If there's if there's Taylor Swift money, it's probably going to be yeah, more than the prize that CBS yeah. gives. <laughs> yeah. Hell, imagine if Ben gets like a uh, a roadie gig for Metallica or something after this <laughs> season. <laughs> That'll be wild. That would be wild. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking that Charlie gets a uh, gets some of that CEO money. Looking at uh, looking at like the people that she has um. If. That, that that she has uh awarded in the past, right? Um and yeah, probably probably Banu. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's making me think that it might not be Banu was how poorly he was received towards the end of the pre-merge. Oh. Right? Because of the the 
the whole like live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. But then I don't know. Yeah, but he wanted to just get a million hearts. Win a million hearts. You know, yeah. uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, Survivors anyway, of the Week. Uh, <laughs> Survivors of the Week starting with Castaway of the Week. Who you got? Charlie. Charlie. Why? Because he won the standoff. Mm. And he didn't lose ground, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, like... As far as Maria knows, he was on her. He was on. Uh, he he was not going for her, or he was not taking his shot at her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's just great gameplay. Yeah. What about you, Martin? Uh, gotta give it to Charlie. Actually, <laughs> Joe has good mm-hmm. points, and you know, had you know he not done that, would have been on Maria's radar already. He would have gotten at least a vote. In this episode from her. He did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did. He got two votes from from Pew and from Maria. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh anyway, for me, my cast of the week is actually in Maria. Right? Because she inadvertently she dodged a sure vote out. Right? Yeah. Uh I mean, she fell behind Ben uh, in the immunity challenge, and she all of a sudden just went mama bear and came up with the dolphin idol that she didn't print out for herself pre-game, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not like well, it's 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 a genuine it's a genuine puzzle bit. It's not like one of those uh, puzzle bits in the recent seasons where it's because they printed out the puzzle for themselves. Yeah. So they got yeah. it from wherever. So yeah, so from from my castaway of the week, uh, it's Maria. Let's mm-hmm. go on to go to the week. Who you got? Oh, man. Uh, Maria, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because she was just so lucky that uh-huh. <laughs> that like she won that immunity and didn't uh, get taken out. I'm guessing that yours is going to be Charlie because like he missed his shot. Um, I'll I'll reserve my. My uh, <laughs> my uh, entry into growth of the week. What about you, Marx? Uh, it's gotta be Ben. He was really, really trying his best. To... I Aww. didn't mean to vote you out, guys. But, uh, <laughs> that was painful to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then there you are, the the person who vote who you voted for, is still helping you through the night. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, right. right. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So my uh, go to the week is Maria. <laughs> is your purple of the week as well? <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a different purple of the week. Uh, so Maria, uh, number one, because she didn't get love from home. That's that's pretty sad. Her alliance with Charlie is now clearly over. And she lost the goat that she had been propping up, right? She she had been prepping you up to be the goat she was, she was bringing to the end, right? And then she even said it in the episode, like, whoever is going to give me uh, whatever grief over me bringing Q to the end, that's your own opinion. That's your own thing. But I'm bringing him to the end, right? Yeah. So he was, she was clearly... She was clearly setting things up so to bring Q to the end so that he becomes their goat. <laughs> Mm. Uh, goat is gone for her. Yeah, she loses her number two by trying to take out her number one. All right. Uh, who's your purple? Who or what is your purple of week? <laughs> Jeff's gloves. Jeff's gloves. The gloves are off, man. Mm-hmm. Because he did something like so mean to mm-hmm. Charlie. So mean. Which is. He waited for them to. He waited for him to uh, win the reward challenge, and after he wins, he was like, "Oh, and by the way, letters. <laughs> now you have to choose." Like, oh my god, oh my god! Ooh. Like survivor strategy, like basic survivor strategy. The the current like meta game of Survivor is if it's a loved one's thing, like you sandbag that challenge, mm-hmm. you throw sure. that challenge, because that's you know nothing good can happen um not, nothing good can come from having to choose the the loved ones right mm-hmm. you know it's just like the opposite of 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 where good things happen that's exactly where bad things happen mm-hmm. right this was 
um this was like the creator where the bomb that destroyed the maria charlie like alliance mm -hmm. showed up mm -hmm. right like yeah. the site of the you know the <laughs> the, the site of the impact zone is you know the having to choose like the loved ones thing it's like it's like if you have your thumb out and if like you can see it like run to I the see hills been watching the... fallout <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you, Mart? Uh, uh, anything more to add on that? To that, uh, Joe. The gloves are off, Jeff. The gloves are off. All right. Oh about... God, Jeff, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mart? What's your purple of the week? Maria's letter from home. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Okay, that's it. All right, for me, for my, my purple of the week, it is actually miserable Liz, right? She has been so miserable this entire time. And mm. for this episode, she was clearly just a ray of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> After finally doing number two, she has become more and more positive. And I'm sure that the MSG from the Chinese takeout probably helped as well. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Right? But she was so the entire time she was so positive already. And so I, I miss miserable Liz. So that, uh, that's, you, know, yeah. you, know you, what, you know what? I was I was hoping that I was hoping that one of you was gonna bring this up, right? Because like my, my initial purple of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I, I wanted to try something a little bit different. My uh -huh. initial purple of the week was what? the contents of Liz's rectum. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking of that, but no, I wanted to go for the other one. We wanted uh, to be a little bit more classy. We're a classy yeah. show. We're a classy show. Right? In the Spotify or a podcast version of this episode, we're already putting science as one of the categories for this app. <laughs> We're talking too much about the digestive system in this episode. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, yeah. Uh that's yep. Yeah, that is that, that was one of the things I considered. Uh I I I think it's a missed opportunity for me to look for something from for Maria. But yeah, uh to have her as my castaway go and for of the week. But anyway. <laughs> uh I really wanted yeah. to focus on right, the right. fact that there is no more miserable Liz. She's a happy Liz now. She's Philly. You could have now. said, uh, oh, Philly. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> um, you could have said that your purple of the week was uh, Maria's name on parchment. <laughs> actually, actually. Mm -hmm. Good point. All right. So, anyway, uh, any other things you guys want to bring up? No, man. That's it. G great, great, right. episode. great episode. Great episode. Oh, Setting up the finale perfectly. Mm -hmm. Um. Just as a spoiler for when Joel says Vice Chief, oh not Vice, uh, Juxta Potato or Jawa Tienza. I, I have no mm -hmm. fart jokes oh, for uh, wow, to man. to like to like end the show. So you know, that's I guess that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay, that's it for this uh, episode. We would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button so we don't get voted off the channel. At any rate, this has been Joel Parkon. Why do ninjas? Part dangerously. What? Why? Because they're silent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, signing off. This is Martin. Yeah. And Jao. <laughs> and that was Jao with the part joke. <laughs> uh, we hope to see you on the council again soon. Until then, stay safe, mga kalaro. The Titos have spoken. <laughs> <laughs>